Hey guys, <clears throat> this is PTO, I'm sorry, Pertain to Rose. I've been doing that a lot lately. More bloopers. Uh, question, does it hurt to have multiple channels? My answer would be no. Now, I have multiple channels, but I do something on each one of those channels. And wouldn't it be nice to be getting paid on multiple channels instead of just one and you're thinking oh that's so hard you know what I don't think it is it is keeping up with a lot of the comments and stuff like that you know I, I understand that and you gotta think up new ideas and different things for each channel and you know what I think it tends to help I think down the road, even if it takes me five years from now for those channels to have real growth, to be getting paid on all those different channels. So I do have multiple channels, and I've discussed them with you before. Uh, and I got one that I just started. It's going to be for small YouTubers and small business owners to unite. I'm kind of like got it hidden in the background I just did a an introduction video to it today but uh I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep going because some of these bigger youtubers know they truly know having multiple channels that they're gaining growth on all of these channels and they're bringing in an income from all the channels they have so you're thinking well, they have a couple channels. How much money can they be making? Well, once you learn how to become a bigger channel and you got that growth there and you're getting income from one channel, now you got two or three more channels. Some of those bigger YouTubers have seven channels. They have seven channels. They have a podcast. They do all these different things. They don't have all their money in one basket. Because what if something happens to your main channel and it goes down for whatever reason or you get booted from YouTube for whatever reason. You always have your other channels to fall back on. Um, I had a friend, well I have a friend and they're in England. So they had a really huge channel lovely couple absolutely love this couple and they had a lot of comments where it was just the emojis or that thank you ma'am you know that kind of thing you know they didn't have real generic comments on there it looked like they were paying for comments or something which they weren't these were actual youtubers that uh you know, came into their channel and was watching their shows and, you know, stuff like that. But YouTube shut it down. Because they were getting so many from other countries where people do not speak English well. And they put a little comment in there or a bunch of emojis. And I don't mind those comments. I really don't. Um, but they were getting so many of them that YouTube thought they were buying subscribers and buying comments, that kind of thing, which they weren't there. Very Christian couple. I absolutely love them. I adore them dearly. And they're so smart and witty and funny. They're just enjoyable to watch. But their entire channel got shut down. And they had, I don't know, it was like 50,000 subscribers on there. You know, they had a lot. Whatever it was, it might have been 37,000 or whatever. So they had to reboot and start all over. Well, at least now they, they had the knowledge to go with it. And they started another channel. You know, they were getting paid well off that channel. But YouTube decided, you know, whatever reason, or maybe somebody complained, who knows. I, I know they're very Christian, so they didn't say anything that was wrong or, you know... 
that kind of thing. It was a blogging channel, and they did very well. And then I had another one, and I don't know this person personally. Like, I do know, do know those ones, and they're building their second channel. They're doing really wonderful with their second channel. And they encourage people to give meaningful thoughts into their comments, you know. And that's good to know. <laughs> uh, I have another channel that had his channel attacked, you know, or hacked. That somebody came in and somehow hacked it, and now they're receiving the money from that channel, and he's no longer, there's another big YouTuber. That person don't know how we got hacked or how that had to happen. And I don't know this person personally. I just know it from watching his content. Uh, he has a new channel now too. But of course he had several channels that he was also working on. And he was building them up. They were already in the background. He was already doing stuff on them. You know, it, it helped him when something happened. Now, I don't know how you can be hacked. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. I just know it can happen. So, I think in, in the long run, having multiple channels is a blessing. And uh, you may just do shorts on it for right now. I mean, put some shorts up there and see how it works and Get a few subscribers started a while. You may revamp it a year from now and say, huh, I want to do this and I don't want to put this on my main channel. It little conflict of interest or, you know, whatever. What, for whatever reason. Or you may want to try a new niche. Everybody says you got to niche down, got to niche down. Well, pretend the rose is all over the place. <laughs> I'm not good at niching down. But I do have other channels where it's more niched down a little bit, you know, and that does help me. I am the Rose Nose Money Making. I'm getting a lot of growth on it. I had like three videos that was uh, put in the su suggested videos, and I don't know how they got there. But I, I think it, I was talking about money. Who knows? Who knows the reason? But I'm very happy about it. Very, very ecstatic about it. Uh, my new secret channel is going to be about small YouTubers uniting and small business owners networking. But I may change that. I may revamp that down the road. Not sure yet. Right now I'm just getting a couple of videos up there and helping out. And no, I didn't go subscribe to my other channels yet from that channel. I, that's, I'll wait to do that. If you have a second or a third channel, you may want to think to wait to go subscribe to your other channels with that one. That way it doesn't look like you're just coming up with channels and going in subscribing to them all real quick. You know, you may want to take your time and think about it, you know. I, I, I just, I wanted to start this new channel and throw something up there quick because down the road I might come up with a great idea and I'll be like, I can't put it on this channel, I can't put it on that channel, I can't put it on that channel. Let's just revamp this other channel I got and maybe it'll grow and get really big and eventually I'll have four channels that I'm earning money on. How awesome would that be? How awesome that would be. So I do watch a couple channels that teach you about YouTube growth and stuff like that. I love learning new things. And they really come up with some ingenious ideas. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I would have never thought of that. So I do watch all those bigger channels that teach you all the little tips and tricks that you can do to help yourself with that growth. They never suggest having another channel to subscribe to yourself. Um, 
they use the other channels to to have a platform of something they want to talk about, but it doesn't go with what's already on their channel. You know what I mean? So, like, I have my travel channel, and I have my money-making channel, and, you know, you have these other areas. Mm, excuse me. You have all these other areas where you get that growth. Well, and I'm not sure where I was going with this. I'm having one of those days, I'm telling you. But anyways, these bigger channels, you know, I, I watch them and I learn, okay, what are they doing that's making a huge difference? They're doing a lot more than what I am, that's for sure. I don't even use thumbnails anymore. I don't edit my videos. I don't do any of that. I just throw them up there and see where it gets me. But they do encouraging have other channels so you can earn that extra paycheck. And it's actually quite a blessing. You know, you get that extra growth there. So I have one lady I watch. She makes between $6,000 and $10,000 a month. That's off one channel. She has multiple channels. So her other channels are not that big yet. So she gets smaller checks. You know, I think she said on one channel she gets like $10, $15 a month, you know. Just little tiny checks. But it's still an income. It's still that extra money coming in. You do that work once and your YouTube channel, your that video is always out there until you take it down. But it's growth. And you never know. Five years from now, somebody might be watching this video and I might get paid off of it. You never know. You know, it's, you yeah, just keep going and pushing forward. And the multiple channels is a good way to supplement the income. You know, you have one channel here, one channel there, one channel here. And it might take you years to get to your 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to, on those other channels. But you're still building it up. You're still building it up. And who knows, it might be a channel that you might even forget about and three, come back three years later and find out, huh, I, I have... All of a sudden, I have a thousand subscribers on that channel. Oh, well, maybe I should start doing something with it. You know, putting out content there. You never know. So, does it hurt to have multiple channels? I don't think so. It does. It, it could hurt you uh, and get your YouTube channel shut down eventually if you're not careful. But, I mean, really think about it. If you're going to put out content on those channels and slowly build it up, so what? So what if you have 10 channels? It's not hurting you. It's helping you. You know what I mean? Down the road, you may think, oh, you know what I'm going to do on that channel? I'm going to talk about my bills. You know what I mean? It, it may be just a good output for you. If you're one of those people that like to speak and you always got something to say, I would suggest getting another channel and getting your words out there. You know, whether it's a channel where you're preaching or a channel where you're gardening. It could be a channel on you taking walks around the block. Look. I lost a pound this week just walking around my block, and here I am vlogging about it. You know what I mean? It could be anything. You'd be surprised. You build it, they will come. And they will check you out. And down the road, once you're bigger on all these little channels, you can promote your other channels on those channels, which gives you growth across the board. You know, you might want to not do it right away, just slowly work it in. You know what I mean. I do check. I do talk about my other channels on my on my channels, and I do mention them all. I don't do it every time, but I do do it because it has given me growth. And uh, 
I'll mention it and people are like, oh, what's the link to that? I'm going to check out your other channel. So I give them the link and they go in and what do they do? They subscribe and they support me. You know, sometimes I even ask for it. Hey, can I get a little help here? There's no problem in asking. As long as you're not becoming a pain in the butt about it. <laughs> Don't like be so much to a person that they decide to unsubscribe from you. You kind of want to be laid back. Be that cool guy. Be the Fonzie in the pack. Laid back and just watch what's going on. You know, you'll eventually grow those other channels. And when you start getting paychecks from all of those channels, now you have a nice income. You got your big channel and then you got all your little small channels. And they're all bringing in an income. That there is a huge help. And right now with prices going sky high, it could be a true blessing. So really consider having multiple channels and see how it can help you. I love you guys. I hope you followed me to the end. If you did, comment down in the down below. Write multiple channels are for me. Put that in the comment if you watch me to the end. I want to see who watches me to the end. Because sometimes I think I'm a little boring to watch. You watch yourself enough, you find out you might be a little boring. <laughs> but I still have fun with it. And I still do it. And I still keep going strong. I keep pushing forward. You know, you got to do what you got to do. And I am doing what I got to do. You know, I know that voodoo you do. That, just a phrase. Not saying anything weird there. <laughs> it's just a phrase. But anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for following me and subscribing and commenting. I love your comments. I read them all the time. And uh, I have definitely been looking at them. I've been trying to figure out how I can read up some people's comments while I'm on here. I may have to pull out my computer and do that. So, it, these guys leave the best comments. And I'm thankful for it. And I'm so very grateful to have you around. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. Bye, guys.